Hey, this is Curiosity Ridge. Thanks so much to Sports Entertainment for letting me narrate this video. Here's 10 Peculiar Backstage Rules WWE Superstars Must Abide By. Number 10. Heels Can't Travel With Baby Faces One of the most basic rules that WWE superstars must follow is that baby faces and heels can't travel together on the road. Even though kayfabe is totally dead in this day and age, this old school rule still very much continues. Baby faces must always travel together on the road, and heels the same. That's so, if fans see them out and about on the road, there's nothing to take away from the storylines that are taking place on TV at the same time. Of course, in reality, most fans know that the WWE locker rooms all get along, and it can be difficult when real-life best friends are forced to split up due to how they've been portrayed on television, but this is a rule that must be followed. Number 9. WWE can sell your merchandise, even if you got released. In the vast majority of jobs, when you're fired, or if you quit, that's the end of your relationship with the company. You no longer have your name affiliated with them, and all ties are cut. But this isn't the case with the WWE. Often the merchandise is put in the sales section, in order for the WWE to get rid of all the stock. Which is why Chris Jericho still has merchandise, even though he's now contracted to the AEW. This is something that all wrestlers have to agree to upon signing a contract. Number 8. Downloading a Travel App Whilst it's never nice to be told to do something by your boss, this one actually makes sense, and likely saves the WWE superstars and their talent a lot of time. With Zack Ryder recently revealing that everyone is made to download a travel app by the company, the app is a private one, and has been specifically made for the company and allows the talent to access all the information they need in regards to their booking dates and where they need to be and when. This must be a pretty handy tool for WWE superstars, providing them with all the information they need, showing that the company is willing to change with the times and utilize technology to their advantage. Number 7. Finding Transportation You would think that for a job that requires so much travel, WWE would have everything set up for the talent in order to make sure they can get from arena to arena and when they're on tour for live events and TV. However, this isn't really the case. WWE takes care of the flights for the wrestlers in order to get them into the state. But when it comes to transportation on the road, this is totally down to the wrestlers themselves to find rental cars, work out the quickest routes, and get themselves to the arenas on time. This is something that likely frustrates many wrestlers with the locker room, constantly needing to be organized to make sure that the travel is ready to take them on the incredibly long drives, which has been well documented in the WWE Network series, right along. Number 6. Social Media Restrictions This is an element that's fairly new to WWE with social media and the negative and positives that come with it, especially on Twitter. And the company has seen the potential for it in terms of enhancing storylines. Because of this, WWE has strict policies regarding social media, with one being that certain WWE talents must post a certain amount of tweets per week regarding the product in order to use the platform to drum up interest in what's happening. However, WWE is very aware of the negatives, especially with private images being leaked. And the company now makes talent in developmental systems go through classes regarding social media to make sure it doesn't become a major issue. Number 5. Working on matches with an agent Something that's common in the WWE that might not take place in the independent scene is that WWE superstars will be expected to run through their matches with the WWE road agent prior to it taking place, with the agent often being an ex-wrestler who helps book the match. This is done to ensure certain spots take place that the WWE want to see in order to tell a storyline or simply to make sure the match goes as planned and that there's someone responsible for each segment within the show. This isn't necessarily a bad thing though. Even though most wrestlers can call the action in the ring, having someone as talented as TJ Wilson giving you advice and pointers on the ring can help in the long run and create some great content. Number 4. Experience can help your pay grade In pretty much every single sport, the very best talent gets paid the very best money. With soccer stars such as Lionel Messi and Ronaldo earning huge wages because they're considered the best. That doesn't actually translate in the WWE in the same way. Of course, the major names like John Cena and Brock Lesnar are going to be on bigger contracts than the likes of Kurt Hawkins or Eric Young. But in reality, a lot of it boils down to experience, with WWE often rewarding talents who are loyal to the company. There is a reason why people such as Miz and Big Show are some of the biggest contracts in WWE right now. Are they the faces of the company? No, but their loyalty has been rewarded by the WWE. WWE, unlike many of its rival promotions, such as Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling, forces its wrestlers to sign exclusive contracts when they join the company, meaning the talent are no longer able to work for anywhere outside of the company. This doesn't just include wrestling though. 
but any possible movie roles or advertising work all must be run through the WWE management before anything can be signed off, with a firmly exclusive contract that often has very little wiggle room. There's never any negotiating power in these contracts either, unless you happen to be Brock Lesnar, who seems to have WWE and UFC dancing on a string, meaning it's either agree to get the exclusive deals or don't join the WWE. Number two, extra appearances don't earn extra money. WWE is a global company, and because of that, WWE looks to ensure that its talents are pushed as much as possible for any extra press opportunities to enhance the company name, whether it be local radio and print, or a major talk show such as Jimmy Fallon. This is often not talked about with the WWE superstars, putting in way more hours than what you just see on Raw or SmackDown each week. But even though one wrestler, especially those involved in major feuds, might spend the entire day doing entire press interviews, another might enjoy being a tourist. Either way, there'll be no bonus for the hard work. None of the wrestlers earn any extra money for doing that, but they are contractually obligated to do so when asked. Even if a wrestler would love to sleep in or go to the gym, whatever WWE wants them to do, they must go and do it. Number 1. Not being able to use names outside of WWE When someone becomes a major WWE superstar, their name is instantly known by wrestling fans around the world and it's through that name that they are known to the people, not their real names. However, when wrestlers are released from the company because of the contracts that WWE superstars sign, the vast majority are not able to use their name, unless they're smart and have a trademark prior to joining the company. Talents such as Neville have been forced to change their names after leaving the WWE. Even Cody Rhodes isn't allowed to use his second name, and that is legitimately his last name. But WWE owns the rights, and therefore, he can't use it outside of the company. Something that many wrestlers agreed to when signing their dream contracts. 